Hey guys, it's Chris back with another episode of the race to the top with Scotland. And we're just on the verge of playing Serbia in our second game, which we hopefully need, hopefully should win. I hope we win, let's put it that way. But before we start again to the game, I thought I'd do a quick little intro sort of section where I was going to give you a little tip on how to pick your squad. What you want, don't want to do is you don't want to go in with a certain mindset on what formation to play. You also don't want to go in thinking you know the best players in the squad because you know them in real life. What you really want to do is you want to lay the, your game out like I have here with the roles, the duties, the ability. Maybe not the potential recommendation, but you know, organise it in ability. And then what you want to do is you want to try and fit all of these players, that, mainly five stars, like Stephen Nason, Scott Brown, Stephen Fletcher. I'm not putting Stephen Fletcher in after his performance against Wales. He wasn't very good. That's the only reason he's not in the game. But if we look at it, I've got everyone else in, apart from maybe Al McGregor, who is um, contesting with David Marshall for the position. So what you do now is you get all these players in the team and try and put them in their positions, and then you fiddle about the formation, like I have in the tactics, until you get the formation you want. So the formation I've chosen with the best players in every position is the 4-5-1 formation. Not just because Scotland plays in real life, it's because of the way the, their team is laid out, their better players are in midfield. And then what you want to do, I've already done it, what you want to do is you want to go through all your players, like all your players, it's got Brian Kai there, you want to go all through your players and start on 11. And then what you want to do Right, yeah. What you want to do is you want to click on them, and you want to James, let's James Carter for example, and he's a deep line playmaker. If you make him a deep line playmaker and support, cause that's what you want it to be. However, if you have like Green Dawn's an attacking playmaker, if you have another maybe deep line playmaker, uh, maybe if you have another advanced playmaker, you don't want to play two advanced playmakers. So what you want to do is you want to look at him. And you want to make maybe if you go defensive, he's he's defensive midfielder there. You want to move him about, or you want to make him another position, another duty you might like that he might play well in, like maybe a box to box midfielder because he's more defensive player. So then, it's not too bad with the wingers or the full bats because they can both be the same, like Naismith and Matt Phillips. And you've got Lee Walsh and Russell Martin. But what you want to do if it's the central midfielders or the centre backs or maybe the strikers, you try and keep them separate. And this means that your players have all got a duty to do and a role to have. And it's not random duties and it fits their ability and the way they play. This means that your players are more comfortable in the position they're playing and will play better. So that's the end of the intro section. Now I'm probably just going to skip forward to the Serbia game. See, I made a bit of a mistake. I'm going to admit it now. I made a bit of a mistake. My uh, recording messed up. And this is why you'll see in the top corner it says I've got Macedonia next. But uh, I've not... I've get the, kept the clips for the game, so they'll pro they'll be fine. But I just thought I, w I wanted to show you this tip, so I thought I'd do it again, even though it messed up. So we're gonna go into the Serbia game now, and I'll just uh, be right back with the f the start of the game. And that's the game kicked off now. So hopefully we'll start the game well. We've got kick off this game. Um, I don't know why it does that. It always seems to do that. It starts off. Um, we have first sort of passes and then gets into the game, but um, I'll play Croatia, I've got one up, Vedra and Cholica, the ex Spurs, right back. But um, this will be the third episode, and uh, I'm quite disappointed with the last couple, I mean, we had a uh, lot of views on them. But I'm going to keep going at it, you know, keep with it and not give up on it. Uh, it's kind of hard to record videos with uh, Shane Room with uh, another sibling in the house. He is never out. And I don't have much time to do it unless uh, he does go out. So like today I'm recording this now and it'll probably go up in the next hour or so after I've edited it. So I'm just going to say I'm far from pleased with what I saw. They all fired up, which is decent. Uh, I think I've I'm, I'm not really got a fantastic striker. I was going to bring Russell in, but I don't particularly want to bring Russell in because um, I don't particularly like him. But um, the same with Fletcher. I really like Fletcher. He just doesn't seem to play well against Wales. And if he can't play well against Wales, I mean, how is he going to play against a top class team like Serbia? It's just like. I don't know. But there, we're going to bring on Fletcher now. And I'm going to take off. Who else are we going to take off? We're going to take off James MacArthur. Bring on Barry Bannon and see if he can make an impact in the game. 
confirm them subs. Uh, Russell Martin's booked as well, which could be a problem. But I mean, I'd be happy with. I wouldn't be happy with them not dropping. Be, I'd accept it because I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to draw with Serbia. They're, especially at Hamden. I mean, we need to win this to stay up there. I mean, we've got good, good, good teams in this group. I mean, we've got Croatia, we've got Belgium, we've got Serbia, we've got Scotland. We've got some good teams. Wales as well. I mean, Mas- Macedonia's going to be. <gasps> oh, even Macedonia is going to be um, a tough. I don't think Macedonia tough game. We could win Macedonia, but here we go. Go on. Oh, I think I could beat Macedonia. Macedonia's the only team I can definitely say we can probably beat. The rest of the teams, it's, it's anyone's game. I mean, right now, it's been pretty even. There's not even many chances, but... Maybe that's just down to because the way the formation's laid out and we've come to their formation and they've come to ours. There's not much chance of us dominating the midfield, which midfield is what I was looking for with Dorans, MacArthur and Brown. Uh, we're going to see if we can make a change now. Bring on James Forrest, take off Naismith. Well, will uh, Confirm that. Uh, perfect hiding up. It's weird, like, it doesn't change. It takes quite a while to change. I don't know why. It's not slow any other time. It's just... There we go. And then if we make us... No. How do we do this? Uh, oh, yes. Uh, to go to advanced heart decks. And we're going to put up... Oh, my God. A lot of them are on vet. Christ. We're going to put up Matt Phillips. On James Forrest. I'm going to put Graham Dorans to sit behind Griffiths like we would have done originally if he wasn't a poacher. Eh, Fletcher, because I don't think Fletcher does a poacher, but he'll try and get him in the poacher role. So we've got uh, three minutes of added time now. So the video is going to come to an end, and uh, if it make it, like to make its changes. But I'd like to, to again, say thanks for the support if, ever, if you've watched the video, and it'd be fantastic if you could like like, comment and favourite the video and subscribe if you want m- any more. Uh, it was a good game I suppose, I mean, I think the, the likes of Russell Martin obviously, but the people over 7 had good games I reckon, Martin, Mulgrew, Wallace, Scott Brown, Graham Dorans, um, there's a few but I'm I'm not sure about the strikers at the moment, I mean Griffiths didn't play well, Fletcher had only had 30 minutes to make an impact in the game. So I'm not 100% on who's going to play up front. The same with the goal. They're both David Marshall and Alan McGuire are fantastic. I mean, they, David Marshall get the clean sheet this game and uh, McGregor last game. But a draw is good. I think we should have won there. Five shots to three, two on target but each. Uh, we had more possession. They had far more fellas, Christ. But, uh, yeah, that believe our second now with Belgium on top with six points. So if we just leave them up and we have a look at what's gone on in the other results, I think Macedonia were beaten, obviously. I think. Wait, oh no, they might draw on my... Scotland drew 0-0 with Serbia. Uh, Belgium won't beat Wales 1-0. Macedonia drew 1-0 with Croatia, which is... That's not good for Croatia. I mean, same with Wales. I mean, Wales should have been beating them after what happened, but 52,000 attendance is absolutely great. So I think that's a good result. I mean, we've got... We've kept it. We've not lost, which is the main thing not lost, which is what we need to think about, we need to get the points on the board every week, every week, every time we play, we've got Macedonia at Hamden next, so we should be getting three points there, that is in 31 days, so I'm going to fast forward to that, and we're going to come back with that for the fourth episode, so we're going to look at the player stats quickly, if you look at it, we've got Russell Martin, top goal scorer, that is unbelievable, considering he's a right back after two games, most assists from Scott Brown, after, again for the uh, assist, player man of the match is Mar- Charlie Mulgrew, obviously the Serbia player, maybe the goalkeeper, I don't know who got it three players with the yellow cards and Charlie Mulgrew has the highest average rating so I'm going to look as well while we're off camera we're going to look at some uh, strikers I might bring up Johnny Russell, give him a chance um, there's a few others I mean Ross McCormack can play up front I might start playing Graham Donnans behind the striker but I'd like again to thank you for watching could you please like, favourite like, favourite and comment on the video. It would be absolutely amazing and subscribe for more and thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.